Right, here we've got a Danfoss 2 port. Um, that's been leaking from the spindle there. You can still see there's some water on there. And that's caused this motor to short out. So it's not actually moving anymore. The power's off and that's still stayed off. And that, because it's a 2 port, there's not a lot of movement above and below the pipe. So I'm gonna just take out these four T15 screws. I've got the new one here. Take the guts out of this one and swap it into the new one. Right, now when you take out the guts of the two port valve on the Danfoss ones, you've got two springs on either side of the spindle and these plates which push onto it. So that holds it into there. So just make sure when you do pull them out, they will just ping off. So as you're pulling it out, squeeze the sides in and then pull it out slow so you don't lose the spring or the little plates. Um, so we're gonna take that one out now and just swap the guts over. Right, that's the new one changed over. Here's the old one that you can see where it's been leaking from the spindle. All right, let's just top up the pressure and make sure that there's no leaks. Oh, well, the cold ice hopper is leaking. Let me see if I've got one in the van. I can change that over as well in the meantime. Right, new filling loop, pressurized, no leaks from there. Now we're just going to test the system, make sure it's all working. So yeah, that's how you can get away with changing a Danfoss 2 port by just changing the guts where you haven't got the movement in the pipe.